Hi there, and welcome to Celtic Advent. I'm slightly fearful this evening that some of you may be entirely distracted by the fact that there are no sun decorations on the tree. Isn't it beautiful? Alison's done a good job, as ever. This week we're just beginning the journey of looking at joy. As I said yesterday, I look forward to this particular characteristic. I think it's a, it's a particularly beautiful one that we experience as Christians. So it's lovely to reflect on that for a whole week as we're building up towards Christmas. Let's pause as we always do. In fact, I'll just read a very simple verse about joy from Psalm 86, verse 4. And then we'll just pause and quieten our hearts in God's presence. Bring joy to your servant, Lord, for I put my trust in you. Psalm 16 verse 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And tonight there's just really one very simple truth that we're going to just stick with, and it's this. You don't have to be doing spiritual things all of the time for all of the time to be spiritual. Well, that's profound and true. I think as Christians, often we beat ourselves up. We're some of the most guilt-laden people on the planet, actually, which is ridiculous because in reality, we've been freed from guilt. But we have a set of rules that we set for ourselves and a set of laws that we set for ourselves and we feel like we continually break them and we should be doing certain things and often find ourselves not doing them. And those certain things that we think we should be doing, they are what we consider to be spiritual. There's a really helpful consideration that I believe Rob Bell offered, where he reflects on the fact that actually everything is spiritual. I love that. This is actually very Celtic Christian as well. Ninian, or Saint Ninian, who is considered by many as the Celtic grandfather of Christianity in Scotland, said, The fruit of study was to perceive the eternal word of God reflected in every plant and insect, in every bird and animal, and in every man and woman. In other words, as we just go through life, we just stop and we pay attention to life that's going on all around us, especially in creation and in nature. Then we see all of the truth and the beauty of God reflected there. Let's just ponder that, just the simplicity of, I can encounter you in everything. And that is a joyful thing. As we ponder it, I'm just going to read uh, an ancient poem. It were as easy for Jesus to renew the withered tree as to wither the new were it his will to do so. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Meet it were to praise him. There is no plant in the ground, but is full of his virtue. There is no form in the strand, but is full of his blessing. Jeezy, 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 Jeezy. Meet it were to praise him. There is no life in the sea. There is no creature in the river. There is naught in the firmament, but proclaims his goodness. Jeezy, Jeezy. Jeezy, Jeezy, meet it were to praise him. There is no bird on the wing, there is no star in the sky, there is nothing beneath the sun but proclaims his goodness. Jeezy, 
Jesu, 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 meet it were to praise him. Let's just dwell a moment longer on that very simple thought that we're thinking of this evening. You don't have to be doing spiritual things all of the time, for all of the time to be spiritual. Truly, you don't. And as a simple action this evening, just make that choice that tomorrow, when you're out and about, that you take a moment in nature to stop, to ponder, to look, to have a sense of wonder and to enjoy just the simple things of life and in it all to be spiritual. Let's pray. Father, thank you that in your presence there is fullness of joy and pleasures at your right hand forevermore. Help us in our day to encounter you, to know that sense of your presence with us and to be filled with joy and with eternal pleasures. Help us to be the most fun people on the planet. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow.